Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Um, in today's video, we're going to be looking on macOS, um, in particular because I've had a friend. It was actually a friend of mine um, come to me with a MacBook, and basically the question was, how do I install um, Sky? and BT Sport onto my Mac so I can watch BT Sport and um, watch Sky. So he watches Sky Sports. And I said um, to him basically, they should be on the App Store, but when I went in to do this, um, he had a problem with Safari trying to log into his BT Sport and log into his Sky. Now, the reason that was is, if you if everybody remembers not too far along, there was actually a, a breach in Safari. Now, it may have been fixed, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up to date with that. Um, but if you go, instead of using Safari, you can actually download another web browser, say Google Chrome. But if you go into the App Store, uh, like so. I'm going to wait for this to populate. And you do a search. So, say for instance, we want to use Google Chrome. Not in the app store. Why are we not in the app store? Because I've clicked on the wrong thing, that's why. So Google Chrome. Uh, in the apps. You don't find Google Chrome anywhere. And I'm just gonna put that down for now. If you, even if you search for Firefox. Or you might find Firefox or you might not. So no. But what he wanted in particular was Google Chrome. So So like I say, you can't download it off the app store so what you need to do is go on to safari type in google chrome for mac right so always check before you actually go onto a link in Google because as you can see you've got ads, 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 ads. Now in particular this one this is Google's own ad so this is what we want so we want Google Chrome and download Chrome 
and it says do you want to allow downloads on www.google.co.uk okay allow so as you can see it's starting to download in my downloads folder like that and we'll just wait for that to finish downloading So this, what I'm going, what I am doing this for is because whenever you went into BT Sport on Safari and you went to view a video, it would not let you. So you go into your downloads and it should start and left click and hold and drag it to the apps folder now for anybody who's asking i'm using mac os monterey so So that's installed into there. Yeah, I'm just going to reject that. And go finally. Right, so we're going to come off of Safari now. And we are going to search our launch, launch pad. And in the launch pad, it should come up with Google Chrome. Right, so Google Chrome's come up and it says, Google Chrome is an app download from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, open. So notifications come up of Google Chrome. So I make Chrome your own, get started, skip, skip, skip. No thanks. Because all I want to do is just get the Chrome up. So in the um thing for BT Spot or but this should be for any program that you do so saying i don't have a subscription subscription i do have a wait like, i don't have a subscription my friend lent me his details but i don't want to put the details in on here because you will be able to see his details and Perfectly honest, I don't want to show them off. Uh, so you just go in and you, you you log in, you select what you want, and it should run normally in Google Chrome. Not a problem. Now in the aspects of Sky. So I do believe. If it 
it's not so it's not now and try the base guy b Again, not in the App Store. So, same as all we're on Google Chrome now. I'm just going to go to Sky and go into My Sky. So I don't want to do any of that. I'm just going to search for uh, now TV. Because it should let you download the app. Download the Sky app today. Right, so we want to install from Mac. So this is the Sky Go installer, not now TV. Sorry, I do apologize. So again, Sky Sky Go installer is an app that downloaded from the internet. So you click on Open, and it'll install Sky Go. It will need your login details again. I'm not going to input these because of privacy. Uh, date protection. So once this has installed, it should automatically load up. And there we go, there's the Sky SkyGo app. What it'll do is it'll go for the update um portion, making sure that it's fully up to date. And then it should bring in actually click the accept. Even though it's checking for updates again. So yeah, it should again bring in your login screen. So again, I don't want to do that, but that's installed. Um, once that's installed, I want to go to the Finder. So you go into your launch pad. I don't know if you can actually see my launch pad, but 
SkyGo app is then populated into your SkyGo. And this will work for any app that you cannot find in the App Store. So if you know that a certain software developer creates a app for Apple or for Mac, but it's not on their App Store, you go to their web page and install it from their web page. Again, that's if you know if you know that they, they create it. Nine times out of ten, certain fact no. Twice these two both these two apps haven't been on the app store, but on the, the actual company web pages. So just go on the company web pages and download the apps and install them and you're good to go. Uh, and that is basically it for this video. Um, a quick tutorial on how to install Google Chrome um, because it's not on the App Store. How to use Google Chrome to Sorry, not use Google Chrome. And also how to install another another app and um, using Google Chrome. Basically, go to the company webpage, search for the for the app, if they've got an, an app for that program. Uh, for Mac OS, sorry. Download it, install it, and run it. Thank you very much for watching and I will shall see you in the next video.